finally, I want to assure the people of Kenya that the country is stable. President William Ruto is in charge of the country. And I want to say that the situation that we are facing today in Nairobi, life goes on, that is why we are here. Many Kenyans are going about their lives, and we are happy that most Kenyans trusted the government that will protect life and property, and they have gone to work. And they have ignored the illegal declaration of a holiday that cannot be. Nevertheless, quite a number of business people in the central business district in Nairobi did not open their shops and businesses, arising from fear of looting and destruction of property, having considered what happened in Kisumu, where the Azimio people looted tents, chairs, and food, and Azimio people were threatening business people not to open by threatening that they will loot their wares. As a result, this morning, because of lack of business in the CBD, the country has lost almost 2 billion shillings in terms of business. And this is money that I should, should have been circulating in the economy. We want to urge these people to consider this afternoon to call off the chaos, the mayhem, the intimidation, because what they are doing is destroying our economy. The economy had begun showing signs of recovery. And we were getting a lot of information from international financial players and no other partners. But the events that are being organized by the opposition is not good for business, it's not good for the economy. And we want to ask the organizers to consider this afternoon to call off the mayhem and the chaos so that those who do not open their businesses and shops can go back to work this afternoon. But I want to assure the people of Kenya that President William Ruto has given very firm and clear instructions to the Inspector General of Police to protect life and property. And as this afternoon, the police have taken charge of the central business district, no life has been lost, no property has been destroyed, and those uh, activities will continue for the remainder of the day, tomorrow, the day after, the weeks to come, the months to come. We have a responsible government in office who have a constitutional duty to protect life and property. So we urge the people of Kenya to ignore being incited into violence and destruction of property because it's not good for the economy, it's not good for the country. And we want to thank those who are courageous enough to ignore threats and intimidation and to go about their businesses in an ordinary manner. We have a country to run, and we want to ask those who are organizing demonstrations, those who are organizing chaos, those who are organizing mayhem, to be decent people. They cannot ask the children of pure, poor people to get involved in violence when their own children are in safety in the East African Legislative Assembly in Arusha. It is not fair, it is not right. If they are so persuaded that people need to go to the streets and cause chaos and mayhem, they should ask their children to be in the forefront so that if there are issues, their, sh their children can bear uh, the consequences. But it is not right, it is not fair for you to ask the children of other people to go and cause chaos and mayhem where your own children are safe in another country, enjoying the parks and the luxuries of the jobs that you have given them. It is not fair, it is not right.